Hello, what's up everyone and welcome again to another review and I hope you don't mind this is going to be a slightly longer video because there's a lot to talk about, the driver, the car and everything itself. So um, let's get into it right now. So this is a 118 scale Mini Champs model in resin of the Tyrrell Ford 012 driven by German Stefan Belloff at the Monaco Grand Prix 1984. The race made famous by Ayrton Senna finishing second in his uh, Tolman Hard. The race was cut short because of torrential rain and many people believe Ayrton Senna would have won this race because he was catching uh, race leader Alain Prost at a fair rate of nuts but um, there are some people that actually believe Stefan Belov would have won because he was actually catching the two of them very quickly as well. This version is a special version for the Stefan Belov uh, website and as you can see in the colors of his helmet and with the quote of Jackie Stewart saying Stefan Belov is the greatest talent he's ever seen but Jackie of course being slightly biased being a Tyrrell man. Many people maybe haven't heard of Stefan Belov before and it is of course because he was killed a year after in Spa Francorchamps for the thousand kilometers of Spa driving in a sports car race crashing with Jackie X at the Eau Rouge and uh, yeah so a tragic loss and uh, he's kind of an unfulfilled promise you can compare it a bit to uh, Gilles Villeneuve uh, like a kind of a myth or a legend so yeah we'll never know with this edition there was a nice looking cap Tyrrell branded cap as well with all the bell of uh, details on it which looks uh, really good but uh, we're here to look at the model, so let's uh, have a look at that. So here we have uh, the model, and a very striking model, very cool, uh, very nicely detailed as well, and great job by Minichamps overall. There's one little criticism, it comes on this yeah, normal base that all the resin Formula 1 cars come on. Um, but there's a little thing on the plaque, with all the information on it, there's a mistake. It says still 412, but Martin Brundle, Detroit, 1984. It's another model that Minichamps made. It's basically the same car, but different livery and different driver, of course, and different race. But they used the wrong black on the special edition versions of the Belov special edition. And uh, I emailed Minichamps to tell them that it was wrong, then to send me just a black, but they offered me to send them back the whole car but I didn't want to do that because I already modified it on the tires as you can see and I didn't want to get a, a shoddy model because this one is good then I offered them to send the, the plaque only and they didn't want to they could have just sent the chrome plaque and let me <laughs> change it basically but yeah <laughs> they didn't want it to do to do that but uh, yeah that's why I still have the wrong plaque on this uh, on this base but uh, I don't display it with the base, so yeah, that's okay, I can live with that. But let's uh, remove it from the base and look at the model itself. So here we go, here we have the model, and as I said, it's a beautiful little thing. Um, and just look at the, the dimensions of it, it's just amazing that the drivers uh, back then drove in these cars, it just looks like a, like a hazard. Look how yeah, thin the cockpit area is. Uh, the driver just sticks out with his the whole part of the body and it's uh, just amazing they drove with this uh, yeah, car, just look at it, no protection on the sides whatsoever, the feet are actually in the nose, so if you crash frontally you smash up your feet immediately and as I said very exposed the drivers were and uh, it's just uh, crazy that they drove this car. The details are very very good as I said, um, it's just a beautiful looking model. I was really looking forward to um, to seeing this when Minichamps uh, announced it and they didn't let me down I have to say, it's really a very good looking model. So um, I'm gonna start with the wheels that I, as I said, modified. Um, very cool as well, the different colors of wheel nuts, red on the left and aluminium or silver colored on the right. I didn't finish the right side yet with the tire markings, but uh, yeah, I colored the rims silver as well, the ring around the rims. It's not 
neatly done because I wanted to look need to look uh, race worn. And uh, the wheels, the tires, of course, is one of the main features of the car. Very cool, by the way, that little sticker in the rims. But of course, the rain tires because it was a rain, rainy race. And uh, the wheels, the tires look really, really good. As I said, with the different wheel nut colors. Then the front wing with the carbon texture looks really nice with the Disco Star branding on it. Um, it's very nicely done. And then underneath the nose, you have this weird um, like, uh, loop or pull ring or whatever. But it's um, very thin, very refined, and it's very cool that the Mini Champs actually included that on the model. I don't know if it's uh, on there on the real car, I assume it would be. So. Uh, but it looks really good. The end plates as well with the bolts in it. It looks nice. The suspension looks good, even though it's um, very simple and basic, but that's because the suspension was very basic, of course. Uh, and then all the um, detail in the brake duct calipers as well, looks, um, or uh, scoops as well, it looks really good. Then uh, the cockpit looks really nice, especially the helmet of course, beautiful color scheme and beautiful little helmets. And then you have the figurine which is very detailed and a very nice touch by Minichamps are the overalls. I um, never noticed it but the overalls are unbranded and it's because uh, Stefan Belov wore a rain jacket or raincoat or maybe a over overall to protect his overalls because it was a rainy race of course as I said and uh, so it's pretty cool many times noticed that and uh, put the um, overalls or cover overalls on it the rest of the cockpit is very detailed with all the gauges in the dashboard with the gear stick lever and uh, the seat belts with the photo edge parts the blue seat belts they look really good. Another thing I really like is behind the head there on the other side, there's this uh, well pull ring. Well, it's not really a ring, it's a U shaped thing. Um, the electrical cutoff next to the lightning bolt there. And uh, it's very nice that they did that. Then there's this little detail as well the different um, radiators on the side pods either side, the big one on the left and the two small ones on the right. And then the exposed engine, the normally aspirated Ford engine that they used uh, with a grill on top. Most of the other teams already had turbo engines and Tyrrell used the uh, normally aspirated Ford engine which was down on power uh, but they had a trick for it by actually cheating but let's talk about it another time. Then the damper, the red damper looks really good with the uh, inboard brake next to it and the exhaust sticking out there as well and then the gearbox casing on which the huge rear wing rests with the pillar central pillar there yeah so the whole engine compartment and gear suspension looks really detailed and it's really nicely done Then you have these, um, yeah, the huge rear wing with those uh, little ears, with uh, the supports nicely carbon layered, by the way, and the supports uh, connecting to the side pods. And the little ears and the flaps on the rear wing are not cut out, unfortunately, but um, it still looks okay. Then you have this support rod in between the two ears as well, which looks really good. And then you have this uh, grill in front of the rear wheel uh, on both sides and that's a very nice uh, detail and very nice touch as well so yeah as i said uh, very very good looking model um, minichamps did uh, really did their research on this one i'm very happy um, with it there you have the refueling intake as well on the left side and not on the right side so uh, yeah very nicely done as i said as I mentioned and um, I'm very happy that Minichamps decided to release this model because um, Stefan Bellavare said a bit of a forgotten talent 
So it's uh, really cool to see that Minichamps really appreciated the huge talent he was and uh, wanted to immortalize him a bit by uh, making this model. So yeah, I hope you liked the review. Sorry that it was slightly longer. Uh, next time it will be a normal length. And I hope to see you then. Bye.